woke me by singing. Oh, what can I say? I'm blissful. Things are great at work. I have you guys, and Andrea gave me a raise. Time to redecorate. Does this mean you're gonna be painting? Uh, it means we're gonna be painting. Ooh, I'd love to, but I hate painting. Mm -hmm, me too. You're on your own, Paigey. Come on, guys. It'll be fun. Any excuse to spend time in Paige Michael Chuck's bedroom, huh? Can you blame him? I'm fabulous. So, are you guys in? Fine. Yeah, fine. Hey, Paige, are we uh, still on for the bed later? Mmm, absolute mo. Bed? Uh, yeah, roommate etiquette? You didn't even check with us. Relax, Eleanor. We're going to Ikea. He's helping me get in bed. Uh, A bed. I swear. Brothers, sisters? Ugh. No, it's just me and my dad. <laughs> He's really amazing. Did you see your mom a lot? Not really. What about the Michael Chucks? Uh, my parents are gradually getting over the fact that their son moved to Europe to play hockey. <laughs> and left poor Marco behind? Marco's fine. He finally cut the cord, moved the last of his things from Dylan's former room, and now I have a blank slate. <laughs> How'd your parents deal with having two gay kids? I mean, you and... Alex? AKA the only girl I was ever into. Yeah, make that one gay kid and one undecided. Okay, you guys have two hours starting right now. So we ready to paint this town? Truffle mint. Check it out. Decent. Bit of a butter face. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Is that like some weirdo guy thing? OK. Everything's good about her. Yeah. But her face. Get it? Butter face. <laughs> Lame. Lame. Focus on this instead, OK? Seriously, guys, the sausage fest is getting kind of tired. You know, with aim like that, you'd do awesome in the archery club. Like bows and arrows archery? The club just started at school. Mm. Flying arrows are strangely therapeutic. You should come. <laughs> Sounds medieval. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> are dying. Can we just be done? Sure, hon. Thank you. <clears throat> so, like what you see? Um, I, I'm not sure. It's a smidge mintier than I expected. When you have visitors? Yeah? They're not going to be looking at the walls. OK, speaking of visitors, let's not Overstay our welcome. We have so much cleaning up to do. All right. Remind me not to mess with you like ever. You are dangerous. It's new fam talent. <laughs> it's good, Darcy, but remember to keep your elbow up. Jane, you ready? Mm-hmm. Go. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. From now on, I'm packing a bow. <laughs> Plus, it's uh, nice to have a boyfriend for his zone every once in a while. Peter's my partner for English. Does he need a talking to? Or, or an arrow, maybe. <laughs> no, he's great. It's just every once in a while. Forget it. Right, come on, you can tell me. It's like, OK, with Spin, if it weren't for his pit stains, he'd be perfect. Wow, you guys were made for each other. I was only going to tell you about Peter's breath. Oh. Forget I said that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Go get it. As long as we're telling secrets, um, that ass is my brother. That creep? Yeah. I'm not exactly proud of it. But your last name? Oh, I changed it. Um, my real name is actually Anastasia Valieri. That's a big one, Anastasia. Shoot it out, girl. Let me guess. SAU and you're waiting for the caffeine to kick in. Waiting for you, mostly. You got a minute? Yeah, just came into 15. <sighs> What's up, Captain Longface? Nothing. I just, I wanted to run something by you. Totes. Everything OK? It's kind of scary to talk about. And... I don't really want to freak you out, but, well, you're starting to. Come on, just spill it already. Marco, I have... Ah, oh, feelings for Paige. <laughs> what, that's it? Oh, man, come on, you had me scared for a second there. Yeah, so, so what do you think? I love that girl. So, if you hurt her, I take drastic measures. Well, totally. I get that. Improv scenes continue. Peter and Jane as Harlequin and Columbine. Looks like Comedy Dollar to next. <laughs> Fair miss, I beseech you, love me. But my father will be displeased. Let me whisper a secret. Oh, damn, no keeping that jungle breath a secret, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back on track, please. Peter, wait up. I have to get to class later. Who knew Peter could be so pouty? You so don't get it, Jane. Why do you have to be such a girl? Hello? Guys? Oh, man, I'm hungry. Paige? Hey. A surprise for you. Ready? Uh-huh. <sighs> so what do you think? This is gorgeous. <laughs> I can't believe you did this. How did you do this? Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Key Callis. Oh. So do you like your room? See if you can guess. Paige, hold on. Are you sure? Oh, God. Uh, you don't want this. No, I do. A lot. Ever since the first roommate interview. So then why all the talking and not the kissing? Just checking.
You leaving? So soon? I was trying to be quiet. So you could sneak out? So I could let you sleep. Let's order another wake-up call. Can't. I gotta meet with my prof. You're gonna be late, Al. Don't you want to get the good seats? It's linguistics class, Marco, not a movie. Here's your coffee mug. You got your bag? I'm going. Bye. All right. I should jet to class while the coast is clear. See you tonight. Telling Jimmy about how you totally burned Peter in class. Hilarious. Mm. Too bad Darcy's in a snit about it. How come? I guess I wasn't supposed to say anything about her hating his stank breath, but whatever. She'll get over it. Darcy Edwards. No, she won't. Well, maybe. Did you apologize at least? Well, I told her she was mad over nothing and to stop being such a girl. This is why I can't deal with girls. They're just so sensitive, you know? I definitely think you're gonna have to do some digging to get out of this one. I feel weird going through his stuff. It's not like I went looking for it, but I, I can't unknow this now. I told him if he hurt you, I'd kill him. 3TC, ABC, maybe maybe it's vitamins or weightlifting stuff. Yeah, and he packs them in little prescription bottles just to be quirky. <sighs> What if he's sick? What if he has got cancer or something? I don't know why he'd hide that. Do you have any idea what this is? Efavrens A-Z-T. Where have I heard that before? Oh my God. Marco. It's the HIV cocktail. He came to my work to ask if you two could... But if I had known this, it... wow. Okay, I got an emergency text minutes before class. Why? Griffin has HIV. We found his drugs. What? Are you guys sure? Yes! Ellie, is that emergency enough for you? Paige, calm down. I can't calm down. How could he not tell me? Well? Well? There is no well, Marco. Uh, we all drink from the same OJ carton. Ellie, you can't. I know, I know there's no way to pass it like that, but still, it's disturbing. Well, since I slept with him, I think I can relate to your concerns. It just kind of happened. You use protection, though, right? Of course, but there's no guarantees, and I swore I would never be out of control with a guy again. Paige, if he used a condom... He still took a risk, Marco. He took a risk with my life. Paige? Guys? Hey, hey, has anybody seen my wallet? When were you gonna tell me? You can't run away from this, Griffin. I can't believe you went through my stuff. I, I think yours is the bigger faux pas here. I meant to tell you. The time just never seemed right. Well, it doesn't matter because now I have to suffer your stupid choices and lifestyle. Lifestyle? You just assume it's my lifestyle? Well, isn't it? Go to hell.
Would it make it easier if you pretend my face is on the target? Kind of, yes. So unless you want to be the target, move. Darcy, listen, please. I'm sorry I busted you on Peter's halitosis, okay? But, but I got super strong mints, so. <laughs> Are you for real? I didn't tell you about this so you could fix it. There's a problem. I'm offering you a solution. I didn't want a solution. I wanted you to listen. <sighs> what if I told all these eavesdroppers about your evil brother? Would that help to fix things, make you feel better? Darcy, please. Jane, relax. I'm not going to. No friend, girl or guy, would do that. Which is what makes you and I very different. How long ago do you think you may have been exposed? Last night. We used a condom, but I still want to check. What? HIV antibodies take up to six months to show up. We'll know more then. I won't know for six months? But the good news is you took precautions. not gonna talk to me? Maybe in six months. It's great. You're not even gonna ask how I got it? What, too many girls, too few condoms? Oops. I was born HIV positive. What is this? My mother's obituary. She was a junkie. Tried to stop after I was born, but couldn't. I never even met her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. You didn't ask. Well, even if I had, would you have had the guts to tell me? I've been in a healthy sexuality program for years. They teach you how to have these conversations, but it doesn't make it any easier. I am not wrong to be scared. I know. Neither am I. What you did was not cool. I know. Darcy, I'm an idiot. <sighs> but thanks. Kissing Peter did get a little bit more fun. Mm. Look, um, can we make me like a friendship trainee? Because clearly I'm an ignoramus. Will you help me? I don't know. What if I say something sacred and you say that's stupid, then what? Mm. Arrow to the head? Look, I, I guess I want a friend more than I thought. Kind of a lot more. Okay, you nut bar, we can try. That's rad. Okay, lesson one, friends can hug. <laughs> Marco says you're leaving. You should have told me. Things were going so well, I didn't want to ruin it. You'd be surprised how quickly the truth makes people run away. Yeah, well, so do lies. Everything's always so complicated with me. I mean, the HIV makes everything complicated. You weren't honest with me. You didn't let me choose. But, but I'm not mad you have HIV. You know, some days, 
I forget that I have it. I mean, I've never even been sick. The drugs work. We have a lot to talk about. Which will be harder if you go. Don't move out, please. It's not going to be weird if I stay. <sighs> Let's be honest, it's going to be weird either way. But I want to try to work through this. You are amazing. <laughs> this is nothing. Wait till you get to know me. <laughs> <laughs>